I'm really kind of frustrated by what's happening right now uh, in, in the world of 3D filmmaking because most of the films are really 2D films shot with two cameras. So there's a little perspective behind, there's once in a while an uh, in-your-face effect, but most of the films that are coming out today in 3D are not really thought as a 3D experience. When you go to a movie uh, theater, you go to movie theater for two reasons. One, to get a, a social experience, to experience a, a film with other people. And two, to get immersed. You get immersed in a 2D film on an intellectual level and on an emotional level. With 3D, you have another level that's found nowhere else. It's a physical component. You have a sense of being physically drawn into the film because you create a physical three-dimension space. And that to me is the essence of 3D cinema. And so in order to maximize the use of the, of the 3D to achieve that, you have to think about it from the very beginning, the, 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 the conception. But it's not so much in the writing, it's much more into the, 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 the animatic, the layout, the staging, the choreography of, of, all, of all the characters and the actors. And then, of course, there's also the technical know-how on how to... When you shoot a 3D film, everybody else doing a 3D film today, anywhere around the world, they converge their camera. When you converge a camera, they decide this object is going to be on the screen plane. So they use the screen as a window. You establish the, the, the 3D in relationship to the screen. So if an object is coming off two meters uh, of the screen, it will appear two meters of the screen whether you're in the front row or in the last row. If you're in the front row, you can almost touch the uh, object. If you way back there, you can still see the object coming off screen, but you cannot touch it. It's too far from you. So the, the 3D is set in relationship to the screen. When you do parallel camera, it's totally different. You establish the 3D as a function of the physical distance between the object or the character and the camera. If the object is one meter away from the, ca the camera, in the audience, whether you're on the last row or the front row, that object will seem like it's one meter away from you, the camera being your eyes. And so it's a totally different philosophy in, in doing 3D, and, and I think it's much more powerful. Now, it's, it's much more tricky, because when you do that, you cannot apply the rules of 2D cinema for editing and for staging. So you really have to set your mind into doing it. And that's, that was the basic principle of IMAX theaters. They have big screens, and you forget that you even there's a frame around the picture. You want to destroy, you want to explode the frame. You don't want to look at reality through a window. You want to be transported into the reality. The screen has to fill your field of vision. And the best place in the theater, especially when the film is shot with parallel cameras, is in the first few rows in the theater. It's a it's completely different experience than in the back. To me, the audience coming out of the theater, uh, hopefully they like the film, but whether they like the film or not, they must say, you know, this experience was transformed by the 3D. The long-term viability of 3D for me will reside in making fewer films in 3D. Not every film should be done in 3D, but if you do a 3D film, do a real immersive experience. And so to me, I see 3D maybe evolving in where you don't have uh, half of the theaters in the multiplex that are 3D, but you have one theater a good theater that is completely redesigned because you need a big screen. You need actually to fill your field of vision. It's, it, it gives you a totally different sense of immersion. Uh, so hopefully, you know, as I say, most of the, the 3D films that are out there should not be called 3D films, they should be called 2.5D films. And, and you really have to, to go to the extra step to make use of 3D and to transform uh, the experience. And uh, so that's what we're trying to do. par les créateurs du voyage extraordinaire de Samy. Bonjour, on est à la recherche de nos grands-pères. Ils les ont emmenés jusqu'à l'aquarium. Samy Allez tout le monde, maintenant on se carapate. Si vous voulez vous évader, il va falloir passer par le Big Boss. Ah oh. Ben quoi, vous vous attendiez à voir un truc plus gros ah Préparez-vous à découvrir... C'est parti Une nouvelle génération de héros. Excusez-moi. Cool En 2012. Wow, ça c'était géant J'ai une mission pour toi. À vos ordres, chef Oh, j'ai été touché Samy 2. Oh, vise un peu cette tortue Je veux un câlin